Welcome to Thread It South. My name is Ashley and in this tutorial, you will learn how to create a tight base shirt design. Now the theme of my t-shirt will be a money tee. Basically every streetwear brand has it. It's the get money, I get money, money over everything. But in this example, I will be using cash rules, everything around me. But before you begin, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a new document, make it 16 by 20 CMYK 300 DPI. Double click the first layer and name it BG, short for background, and fill your background with the color black. Now create a new layer and name it type. Grab your type tool and I am typing out cash rules. Change the font size to 142 and the color should be 89A55D. Also change the font to this one and make it all caps. Highlight the letter C and change the size to 160. Change the baseline shift to negative 25 and do the same for the letter S. Change the vertical scale to 150%. Now let's apply a warp. Change the style to arc lower. Change the bend to negative 18 and vertical should be 6%. Now type the word everything. The size should be 60 and the vertical scale should be 100% and make sure you change the baseline shift back to 0 and change the tracking to 210. Change the color to C2B59B. Place it in the center. Now type the word around. Change the size to 220 and the tracking should be zero. Change this color to the green color that we use for cash rules. Change the vertical scale for the letter U to 95%. Type the word me. Here I'm doing the same that I did with the word around and I highlighted the letter M and chose the other glyph. and change the vertical scale to 100. Now go to view, show grid, use your pen tool and I'm gonna create this diamond shape.
Change the color to the tan color. Rotate this diamond shape and edit copy and edit paste in place. And then while holding down the shift key and the left arrow key, place another one on the other side. Now go back to your layers panel and create a new layer. Name this layer lines. Use your pen tool and starting with the letter C, make a diagonal line. Use the green color and change the weight to two. and select this one for the profile. Take this diagonal line and basically copy and paste it and do the same for the other letters. Now we're gonna type out the word cream. And change this size to 22 and I am using the same font. And change the tracking to 500. Now copy this layer and create a new layer and name it Halftone. Now go to Edit, Paste and Place. Then go to Object, Expand and click OK. Edit, copy this layer. Now turn this layer into a stroke. Change it to any color you want and change the weight to six points and align the stroke to the inside. Now go up to Object, Expand Appearance. Now go to Edit, Paste and Place and move this layer behind the stroke. Select that layer and the stroke layer and then go over to your Pathfinder and click on Divide. Select the orange layer and delete it. Now combine this new layer and delete away the negative space. And then go over to your gradient tab and apply the default gradient, which should be black to white and change the angle to 90 degrees. Then go up to effect, sketch, halftone pattern and use a size of five and the contrast should be 29. Now go over to transparency and change this layer to multiply. Do the same with the words around and me. Here I am just speeding it up a bit so that you don't have to sit through the entire thing. Now create a new layer and name it highlights. Grab your pen tool and make a straight line on the letter R. Use the green color swatch for the stroke and change the weight to six. And use the second profile. Now copy and paste this onto the other letters.
Now create a new layer above the background layer and name it money sign. Type out a dollar sign. Using the font Didoni URWD. And change the font size to 1070. Change the fill to none and the stroke should be the tan color and change the weight to six and also change the transparency to 6% as well. And place it in the center. And that is how you make a tight based shirt design. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.